What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I review Sailor Moon merch and news. And today I have an unboxing of a bunch of items that you can currently buy in America. So since all of these are available in America, I will put links as well as prices down below so you know exactly where you can find them and you can buy them for yourselves. Now these first items, while they were from North America brands, uh, these are actually fan art items that I found at conventions or elsewhere. So the first item I'll show you today is from Celestial Fox. I have shown off these cupcake pins before, but I decided to purchase one more of the cupcake pins. This is the Sailor Cosmos cupcake pin, and it's sparkly, and it has the rainbowy design under her little badge. It's so cute. I love it. Thank you so much, Celestial Fox. You make amazing pins. The next items I got are from a convention here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I went to Kraken Con in Oakland, and it was the last Kraken Con that was going to happen uh, because everything is expensive in the Bay Area, and Kraken Con couldn't afford it anymore, which is really unfortunate, but I guess I'll start going to Sac Anime, which is a little bit farther away, but it's up in Sacramento, and that one's been going for a long time, and it's a big one too, so it'll be nice to go back to that one, I guess, but I'm gonna miss Kraken Con. It was just so easy to get to. Anyway, so this is a purchase that I made in, like, the Artist Alley, and this is from Alley Phelps Design. I haven't used it yet, but this is a pillowcase, and it has a bunny on a crescent moon, and it's very shiny material, and I love the color scheme. I thought it was beautiful, and it's very... I feel like it was Sailor Moon inspired. It might not have been, but I thought it was very beautiful and that it would go really well on my couch over here. And it definitely inspired me, so I purchased it. And I supported a local artist, and I really like doing that. The next items are from Little Lunar Rabbit Designs, and this is her card. It's so cute. She had an entire booth dedicated to Sailor Moon items, which I thought it was so cool. And these items are all... Sailor Moon inspired as well. So first we have some fan art that she created. This has gold foil in the edges, which I thought was so pretty. And it has Princess Serenity and she looks amazing. I really like her art style, so I purchased that. I also got this awesome holographic decal from her, which I will most likely end up putting like on my car or something, but it's got a bunny and a crescent moon and it's got the silver crystal. And I thought that was so pretty. And we also have a vinyl sticker of Sailor Moon and that one was really pretty too. So I bought both of those. And lastly, from the convention, I won't lie, I've already worn this. I have not washed it yet because I'm a little scared of washing it. She told me not to worry about anything and it will be just fine in the wash. And I'll probably like dry it to hang. Uh, but this is a very cute shirt that has, it looks like a stick on, but she said it will be fine in the wash. So I'm gonna believe her, but it says fighting evil by moonlight. It's very cute. It's got the bunny on the crescent moon and then we have the crystal at the bottom. I just love that design. It's very pretty. And I love how sparkly the shirt is. So I was like, yes, girl, that's happening. I'm buying that, please. So that is everything from the convention and I'll put those girls links in the show notes below as well. The next item I got is a licensed item from Sailor Moon S. This is the movie, which came out in theaters a couple of months ago and it was incredible and wonderful and I cried because this is my favorite movie and Luna always makes my heart ache. So <laughs> this is the Sailor Moon S movie. And if you open it, one of the nice things is you also get the art from the original Sailor Moon S movie poster. And I love that art, it's beautiful. But this version does come with English and Japanese as far as audio, English subtitles, and then there's a bunch of extras and stuff. If you wanna see me do a full review of this, let me know in the comments below. I also did a little bit of shopping at GameStop, which honestly, I used to shop at GameStop all the time when I was a kid, and then I stopped because I started buying video games on like Steam. And they introduced a whole bunch of extra stuff there, not just video games. Now they have a bunch of fandom things. So I got this shirt which is a medium because they sold out a small and they did not have women's sizes. This is their unisex or men's shirt because let's be honest, unisex is, is men's, it's not women's. It's not cut for women, it's not women's. But this is a medium shirt. It's a Sailor Moon silhouette with the moon and I'm gonna say Crystal Tokyo in the background. Got a little crescent down there too, which is cute. So I just like the design. Hopefully it shrinks because medium is a little bit too big for me when it comes to men's shirts. Uh, but we'll see. I had to get this puzzle. It's a 1,000 piece puzzle. The actual size of the puzzle is on the back, or the pieces is on the back. Uh, but this one had the outer senshi in it, and because of that, I decided that I really wanted to get it. I'm probably gonna talk my husband into trying to help me 
build this because I'm kind of bad at puzzles. I think that I should try it myself and see how far I can get without even looking at the picture. You know, see how well I know the show just from the color schemes and from the design and see how far I can get and how fast I can get there just from memory. I would probably frustrate the crap out of myself. Ooh, I could try it drunk. That would be fun. Could do a video of me like drunkenly trying to put together a puzzle. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't know. This is the highly coveted Monopoly game, which I also got from GameStop. I paid full price for this, but you can currently find it on sale. Uh, and it is now available at other retailers too, not just GameStop. So if you don't go to GameStop or if you don't have one or if you don't want to get it shipped, then you can go somewhere else and buy it there. Uh, but this is a full-size Monopoly game board. And I really like that they collabed with Sailor Moon for this. They got talismans instead of the little pieces from a normal Monopoly game. And all the money is themed. Uh, but overall, it looks really fun. So this will be one of those things that I also have to coax my husband into doing with me. Okay, so the last thing for today is a box of goodies that I got from Right Stuff Anime. Uh, which is a company that has apparently been around for 30 years, according to this post-it note set that they sent as a freebie in the box. There's like five post-its on there. But the first thing I got from them... Oh, I also found out, if you order from Right Stuff Anime, if you order like something in stock and then something that's a pre-order, they'll just hold everything until your pre-order comes in. Uh, which I didn't know, and I was getting kind of frustrated because my thing was taking forever to ship, but they finally shipped it with the pre-order, so I was able to get everything. Uh, but this is the first thing I got. It's Sailor Moon Super S. This is part two of the season, so this one comes with 20 episodes. There's a bunch of bonus items on here. The case itself is very pretty. I like the foil print on the front and the back. It's so cool. I can't wait to watch this. I love Super S. Not as much as S, but you know, that's okay. And we just got the announcement from Viz that Sailor Moon Stars is coming in May of 2019. So this is like right on time, perfect targeting. I'm so excited about that. Right Stuff Anime also sent that out with these little cards. So these are a series of cards that have the Sailor Scouts on them and villains. So on the front we have Super Sailor Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and Chibi Moon, and Zirconia. That's fun. And then the back ones we have Helios, Cerseer, Junjun, Vesves, Ves, and Palapala. So the quartet. We also have Queen Nahalenia, the Amazon Trio, and Helios. I already said him. So that's it. Yeah, that's all of them. You know who's missing though? Tuxedo Mask. Yeah. My first crush. It's not included. It's terrible. So the next item is heavy. I have not taken it out of the box yet because I wanted you to see my reaction. So I know what these are because I saw the shipping, but they are from Right Stuff Anime and these are also uh, the eternal edition of number one and number two of the Sailor Moon mangas. So these are apparently much larger and they have color pages and they're supposed to be really beautiful. So I have high expectations. So let's go ahead and open this box. All right, I can appreciate a company that packs their stuff with Lots of packaging, so thank you, Right Stuff Anime. Here we go. Whoa. Holy sh! That's heavy. Damn. Wow. Okay. Um, these are huge. They're gigantic. These are like textbook size. Dang, yo. This is amazing. Okay. So to... Wow. To compare the size, <laughs> this one compared to the same art print that came out in Japan, the there's a huge size difference. Th this one's, <laughs> the Eternal Edition that just came out is ginormous compared to the Japanese edition. Uh, it has sparkles all over it, which is beautiful. I love the print. It is just gorgeous. It's super holographic, which is amazing and so extra. I'm okay with this. It does call itself out as Eternal Edition, so you know which ones you're getting, but I mean, the size kind of gives it away. Now let's check out the color pages. Here we go. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if there's more. I heard that there's a few color pages throughout. Yeah, here we have the Masquerade. Ooh, so pretty. I'm loving this. This is so gorgeous. Ah, it's so pretty. Okay, I am totally digging this. I'm so excited about this. I haven't read the manga in forever. It's been several years just because like, 
I kept on copying the different versions, but they're all the same, you know, they all look exactly the same. The translations have changed over time and the translations have been updated for the Eternal Edition, so I hear they're much better now. They've just got better and better in quality throughout the years, uh, mostly because they tried to stay true to the Japanese uh, language as much as possible, as opposed to just like filling in the blanks with weird sentences in English that did not make any sense in the original. So, so I'm very glad that they fixed the translations for the newer versions of the manga. And this one, it's just so beautiful. I feel like I need to read these. These are the kind of books that I'm going to keep a very long time just because they're so gorgeous. And look at number two with Sailor Mercury on the front of it. God, that's huge. Let's find some more pretty art. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, some of these pages are color in the Japanese print as well. Look! Ah! I'm freaking out, man. This is so cool. I can't wait to read these. Okay, I'm gonna have to put them down or else I'm just gonna like keep on talking about those forever. But if you are interested in me doing an overview of the Eternal Editions of the Sailor Moon manga, let me know in the comments below. Uh, that is everything for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And again, comment below if you want to see any like deep dive reviews of any stuff that I unboxed today. My name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because there's another video coming up very shortly. Johnny.